Wine probably isn't the first thing you think of when you hear the word Negev Desert. However, there's a wealth of resources in Israel's south that more and more investors are seeing as critical to Israel's future. These vineyards in the middle of a once barren desert, for example. The desert provides a great deal of space, nearly a quarter of Israel's landmass, and a staggering amount of sun and heat which provides electricity for the nation. But utilizing those resources has always been a challenge. How to build an agricultural industry in a wasteland? The answer is technology. We will be the top of uh, the world desert agriculture and the desert technology uh, of the world. And I think this is, some, this is the vision, this is what we will do. To that end, investing houses and industrialists have put their cash together to build this, the Ramat HaNegev Research and Development Center. The goals of the R&D station uh, is first, to help the farmers of this region to solve problems. So the farmers have a problem, they uh, come to the R&D station, and we design experiments in order to answer and help them solve the problem. That means it's not just academic research. This place serves the desert farmers directly, putting cutting-edge research on the front lines and providing a first step for people trying to turn the sands into an oasis, or even a fishery. It also puts agritech workers a short hop away from Israel's top desert scientists. There's no very far from here a university which has a good facility and good know-how on uh, fish, fish diseases, and, and stuff like that. And we are working very close with them. The R&D center is the sixth one built since the 1970s. But this one has a secret weapon in their court, access to massive amounts of foreign capital. One of the great powers that Ariely Capital is bringing to the Ramata Negev platform is its access to a global network of investors. For example, one of Ariely's leading investment platforms is ShareNet. The Ariely Capital firm has already put $5 million into the center, but ShareNet represents a web of foreign investors with access to hundreds of millions of dollars in liquidity. Ariely sees the Negev as unexplored territory. Agriculture here already generates about $200 million annually, but regional startups often fail because they don't have enough investment or a way to test their products in real conditions. The R&D center is designed to do both. One of the main goals of our platform here in Ramata Negev is to take top and cutting edge startups with food tech and agri-tech and connect them to the fields, to the farmers, to leading research and development and to leading industries and validate the product. Doing that means projects like these impossible gardens in the sand become more viable and creates a boom in Israel's south. That's just some of the vision that many investors as well as central planners have for Israel's future, turning a once inhospitable desert into a massive economic driving force.